The ring-tailed lemur is an endangered species, meaning it has an immediate threat of becoming extinct. Human activity can have a dramatic impact on the biosphere to the point where other forms of life are threatened. In ecology, the term conservation is used to describe the wise management of natural resources, including the preservation of habitats and wildlife in order to preserve biodiversity. Many efforts have been made to protect and preserve Earth's natural environments. Some zoos have established captive breeding programs in which young animals, such as our ring-tailed lemurs, are raised in protected surroundings until the population is stable, then are later returned to their wild. Governments and conservation groups worldwide are working to set aside land or expand existing areas as parks and reserves. The United States has an extensive system of national parks, forests, and other protected areas. For example, Yellowstone became the first national park in 1872. The big problem is that the need to protect biodiversity is greatest in countries that are least able to do so. The destruction of rainforests, for example, is the single greatest threat to biodiversity. Most rainforests are located in developing countries where conservation goals must be weighed against the survival needs of the human population. Many conservation biologists are focusing on 25 biodiversity hotspots where the biodiversity of these unique ecosystems is threatened. Madagascar is one of them. This is the home of the ring-tailed lemur primates. It's actually a primate. Many people don't believe that it is because it looks an awful lot like a raccoon or a cat. These primates actually only exist in Madagascar, and this is an island off the coast of Africa. They underwent some very interesting evolution, and that's called reproductive isolation. Reproductive isolation is an example of a process called speciation, which is the formation of new species. Madagascar, the island, was once a part of the major continent of Africa. And millions of years ago, through continental drift, the islands separated from the major continent. And these organisms, these ring-tailed lemurs, ended up alone and isolated. And therefore, they could only reproduce within themselves, making their species look very specifically different than the other primates that you might see. One similarity lemurs still share with monkeys is the existence of an opposable thumb. Over 40 species of lemurs are endemic to Madagascar, meaning they can be found nowhere else on Earth. The lemur is perhaps the greatest testament to Madagascar's geographic isolation, as evolutionarily superior primates, such as monkeys, outcompeted lemurs from all other parts of the world into extinction or evolution. Much like Darwin's finches, the lemurs of Madagascar have speciated in order to take advantage of all facets of the Madagascan environment for food. They live in all areas of the forest and each has a special adaptation for their specific niche. The I.I. species eat bugs so they have very large ears to hear insects inside a tree and have a very large third finger to probe holes in trees to get the bugs out. Unlike most other lemurs, Ringtails spend 40% of their time on the ground. They move on all fours along the forest floor. The Indri lemur does not have a tail, and the blue-eyed lemurs are the only non-human primates to have blue eyes. Lemurs are considered primitive primates. They have a smoother brain. Their ancient relatives are monkeys, great apes, and humans. All primates are believed to descend from a small, insect-eating shrew living in forests during the age of the dinosaurs. Fossil records show lemurs existing in England, France, and North America. They were a relatively successful evolutionary group up to recent times. The ring-tailed lemurs have very interesting eyes, and they look like they're staring all the time. And the reason for that is they don't have much mobility in their sockets. Their eyes can't move very much. Remember, lemurs are primitive primates. Eyeball motility evolved later in other species. Lemurs have stereoscopic vision, but cannot see color due to a lack of cone cells in their retina. Lemurs have specialized night vision involving the reflective tapum, or mirror, in their eyes in the back of their retina. 
The eyes glow in dim light when the viewer sees the reflected light passing back out of a lemur's eye. So for the ring-tailed lemur to look around, they have to turn their head a lot. Because of this unusual stare that they have, it was believed that they had a ghost inside of them by the Aborigines in Africa a long time ago. The geographic isolation of Madagascar, which got separated from Africa 165 million years ago, has resulted in the survival of specific species, like the lemurs, unknown anywhere else in the world. This separation provided plentiful food for animals and almost a total lack of predators. <laughs>